go to settings turn it to 1080p 60 and enjoy Custom Grow 420. It's 18 number channel design for cannabis patients and adults. Alright man, in this one, 40 perennials planted. So this video, I'm about to walk around my yard and show you guys the 40 different perennial plants that I've planted this year. If at any point in time you enjoyed this video, make sure you give this video the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to Custom Grow 420 already, subscribe for more. Alright man, here it is. 40 perennials planted. This video is going to go into the outdoors videos playlist. This video is definitely going to be fun. First things first, man, let's address the house, man. People were talking about the house. I know it needs a fresh paint. A fresh paint. If you guys have been following along, my old house that was over there burned down. We got into this one. I had it bitted out and somebody said 7K. Another guy said 10K. It's just really, really expensive right now. I had a fence bid and they said 5K. So I had to build my fence first so I could contain my dogs. And then after that, I started working on my garden because I believe that the perennials and being able to feed yourself is more important than the way that the house looks. So the house may look like that. It was built in the 1800s, but it's got a really nice metal roof on it that keeps us dry. It's sturdy. So yeah, it may not look the best, but I'm not about the looks anymore. I mean, like, it is what it is, man. I want to be able to provide for my family. So, and the breathing thing. I breathe hard, always have since I was a little kid, even in school. I used to like relax my, my throat when we would do homework and the kids would tease me saying I snore when I'm outside. So I've always breathed hard. The guy who raised me relaxes his throat and he breathes hard and you can always hear it. It's just how we breathe. So, and plus I'm a little bit out of shape as well. So other than that, we just talking shit about that. Let's get to it, man. 40 perennials planted. Now, if you guys have been following along, I told you guys I was gonna do 12 trees. Uh, I went crazy. I went and did 15. Did a little bit more. Got this bean cherry here. 15 trees. Ivy. 10 grape plants. I put five grape plants all around this deck. Did this yesterday. And I put one by two up, but I don't like that. Sun treated one by two. I'm going to get two by four and build it bigger. I don't think it's strong enough to support these grapes. The goal is to try to grow the grapes up and over the deck. So 15 trees. 10 great plants, 12 berry bushes, and I got some echinacea, some sorrel, and some wormwood in the ground right now. And I also have some asparagus to go in and some leeks. Here's the arbor that I built with a cattle panel and some tea posts very cheap, like less than $50 got invested into that thing and it's gonna look absolutely gorgeous. More flowers for the wife, she loves them. Here's the update on this garden. This looks like shit out here because we didn't really know what we were doing and just went after it. The onions are doing really good back here. Lettuce is doing okay. Row of carrots is doing okay. It needs to be weeded. And then these mounds got stuff growing. I planted rhubarb over here. Oh, that's another perennial. That one will come back. That's 41. We got some broccoli over here. Tomatoes that are flowering. They're going to do okay. Peppers cauliflower i planted some dill there but this ground is hard clay so i'm going to amend this soil next year but that's why i'm just focusing on the perennials right now because uh it's a learning process i wanted to see what we could do with this soil and then see how we can do it better next year got some peas over here that are snapping out of it coming back these are going to be peppers strawberry plants in the ground strawberry plants in containers right here some of these are two years old that i stole back from the mom-in-law's house because she's moving out of it so i went back and took them uh, parsley and basil in containers more stuff to go in there's the asparagus and some leeks asparagus is a perennial it's going to come back here's a dragon's breath beautiful beautiful plant let's go got some 10 10 10 there baby it's good fertilizer been working this part right here a lot chopped the lilac down landscaped it spread 75 bags of mulch Got a little herb garden going here. Got some beautiful, beautiful purple basil. Look at the fucking color on that. It's absolutely gorgeous. Smells good. Lemon thyme, orange thyme, Italian oregano, and some seeds of oregano sprouted in, or planted in there. Uh, let's cut this way. Go take a look at the berry, berry patch. So we got blackberries up here, 12 of them. 
or not 12 of them, four of them. Got some limbs that fell out of the big tree. The raspberries are looking sad, but I didn't get in there and prune them all and thinned them all out. You guys can see they can breathe now. These had never been pruned since I planted them. I also stole these back from grandma's because she's moving out of there. So I went back, I planted these at her house last year. They were tiny and now they're big bushes. Hopefully I can get them to wake up. I'm gonna give them some nitrogen. They're looking sad from the transplant. And these are blueberries. They're all looking really good. Three different strains of blueberries, four plants. Northern High Bush, Jersey, Chandler. Absolutely looking great. So there's the berries. Sapphire. <coughs> Run all around this motherfucker. Destroy anybody in any physical competition at any time. Started working this little area landscape. This got some echinacea right here. This is good to bring the pollinators in. These flowers are great. Medicinal, wormwood, sorrel. This is edible and a perennial. You can eat this stuff. It's beautiful. Wait till these flowers pop up and my patchy pee pee poo. Patches. All right. Now, my favorite part the orchard we'll go over here to the end and we'll start so on this side right here we have the fireside apple um is this one producing anything this year yeah this one is right here tiny tiny little apples right here in these fruits and these little flowers these will be apples too as well fireside here's my honey crisp apple this one actually got planted last year this was the gift from mom started this all and this one is producing apples too. It does have a tiny little set right here we go. Oh. Shouldn't have did that. It's honestly too early for them anyway. I should be pulling off all these fruit and letting them uh, uh, focus on growing their roots anyway. And this is a uh, Cortland apple. Then we got the Stella cherry tree and Violet left her shoes out here. The dog's got a hold of that. I got to clean that up. This is the black tartarian cherry tree. Woo, let's go, baby. To go with the Bing. So Stella, black tartarian, and the Bing up at the front. Daisy, Ivy. Just Daisy cake. Ivy. Whoa. <laughs> so we got a toka plum here. Toka bowl. Yeah, yeah, toka plum. We got a reliance peach here. Absolutely doing good. Fruits are getting big on this thing, kind of swelling up already. Looking nice, fruits all over this bad boy. The Reliant Peach. Superior Plum. Really good tree structure on all these except for the Stella Cherry. The Asian Pear. Bartlett Pear. Take a look at this bad boy. Look at this, look at that. Sick. Luscious pear, red haven peach. Look at this, beautiful looking fruits. And take a look at this one, just absolutely gorgeous color on that. You can see the red on it, it's just beautiful. Fruits up there, some of the leaves are yellowing from the transplant. Probably hit him with a little bit of that 10, 10, 10. The Bella Georgia peach, this one's my favorite one. Let's go, baby. Bell of Georgia peach, man. Excited about this one. And then the Spice Z Nectar Plum, baby. Nectar Plum. This one's beautiful. Look at the color of the leaves, man. Absolutely gorgeous. So, hit the autofocus. 15 trees in the orchard. <clears throat> Got the chicken coop. Catch us, get out of there. Up to six feet now. Chicky paw, chicky paw, chicky paw, paw. They're just loving it back there. Well, that's the update, man. 40 perennials planted, over 40. We got some more to go in. We got annuals going in, tomatoes, cucumbers, and a bunch of shit, man. That's the yard update. We'll show you guys more. Boom, you guys already know what's up, man. If you didn't get your playlist in custom girl 420, go check out some of the other videos on this channel. Check out those playlists. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you really enjoy it, share it so somebody else can see. If you got questions or comments, I want you to throw them down. But other than that, I'm Jolie Oli coming to you for custom girl 420. As always, good.